What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching and talking about how you can become a digital nomad um, and really about what it means to be a digital nomad, you know, can everyone do it, these sorts of things. So yeah, I appreciate this is a, uh, a bit of a short video, but it's really just an introduction to the idea of, uh, you know, being a digital, digital nomad and being able to make money and, and earn an income while also traveling at the same time. Because usually, and you know, traditionally, um, those things have been sort of separate, right? Most of the, the sort of old thinking was, you know, you work nine to five in an office, and then if you're lucky, if you work hard and save your money, then maybe you can go on a holiday once or twice a year uh, for a couple of weeks at a time, not even that sometimes. And then it's back to the grind, back to work, right? So, and really that doesn't have to be the case anymore. You know, this is 2018, this is the digital age, there's so much has changed in the last few years. Uh, especially with things like the internet and technology and all these sorts of things, you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, at least you don't have to if you don't want to, right? Um, so really, that's what I wanted to explain today. A digital nomad is somebody who can who who works from anywhere in the world, you know, from their laptop usually, but from from anywhere, while at the same time traveling around and not being tied down to like to one particular location. So maybe you're in Thailand for three months and then you move on to China and then you move to Europe, or whatever the case may be, wherever you really want to go. The point is you can choose where to go. And that's the important distinction between being you know, stuck in the traditional way of thinking where you're stuck to one job, one location, and the sort of new, uh, more modern approach of working from anywhere. Now, when you when you do that, a few things happen. Firstly, you have you find you have more energy because you know you're not tied to one place you don't get so familiar with your surroundings that they become boring you're constantly exposed to new things new people ideas places so it becomes more exciting you know it's it's more fun and that's one of the, the main benefits and attractions i think of being a digital nomad is that you can do what you want and you can go you know you can go where you want you don't have to be stuck in one place so I'm pretty sure that, you know, if you're watching this video, you want to be a digital nomad, or at least you're interested in the idea, but you're thinking, you're wondering, how can I actually start? You know, how can I earn an income from anywhere and still travel around and, you know, be on the move constantly? Well, it comes down, it comes down to essentially two, two, maybe three things. Okay. But the first two, the two main things that it comes down to is how much it costs you to travel, number one. And how much you earn, number two. So say if you earn, I don't know, $20,000 a year, right? You can easily travel around the world on that on that salary, on that income, right? You just have to be clever about it. You can even travel around the world on less. If you book things in advance, use some of the sites I'm going to share with you in a, in a second um, and sort of have some sort of plan as to how you're going to do this. You don't have to save up a huge chunk of money and then slowly work, work your way through it as you travel around. You know, that's a, that's a myth. You can actually earn the money on the go uh, and travel around that way. So the main, I think the most important thing is that your income, how you earn money, needs to be location independent, meaning you don't have to be in a certain place to earn it. That's the first step. So you need to detach your income from a certain place. If you are a website designer, for example, you go into a company and, and work for the company in one place, try and move towards starting your own web, web design company and, and working from anywhere or really maybe try and talk to your boss and arrange to stay working with the company you're working with but do it from somewhere else you know you don't need to be in the office to do the work um, and that's the key thing with a lot of jobs these days is you don't need to be like in one particular place in order to provide the service that you're offering and do what you're doing so if you already have a job that's tied down to one place but could be uh, you know, separate. Have a word with your boss in the first case. Just say, can I? Could we do this? Could we have an arrangement where I work from somewhere else? The chances are that if they're fairly reasonable, they'll be happy to do that because it lowers their overheads. They have to pay for one less seat, um, and it means that they have space to fill with other people. You know, you can work for them still, but they can fill that desk or that space with someone more locally. So it's a win-win. So, first step. Separate your income from where you are, from your location. The second thing is to 
and this is the you know the ideal scenario for a digital nomad is to create what's called passive income now passive income is income that you earn regardless of whether you keep working on a certain thing so it's just about being smart and not working harder all the time an example would be say if again if you're a website designer you could spend say six to eight hours creating a website and then you sell that website to one person or your company sells it and you get paid a set amount of time for the set amount of hours that you've done say if it's i don't know what the, what the price is for a website designer say if you earned two three hundred dollars in a day that's one time when you've when the day's finished right and when the website's been sold and when you've been paid and your company's been paid that income stops that's a one-time fee it's fixed right and it's also active because you had to actually work on it to get the money when you stop being active when you stop uh, coding the website that income stops a smart way and a passive way of doing that would be to actually create the theme so if it's a wordpress theme design the theme and then sell that theme as a digital download on say theme marketplaces and then every time someone buys that theme you get a percentage of the sale price of the commission and you know that way you you work on it once design it once say if it takes you 10 hours say if it takes you 30 hours you know once the work's done and once you've designed that theme you can sell it again and again and again forever and still get paid for having done the work in the first place you still get the passive income uh, again and again and so that's really what I wanted to share with you guys is try and move from working in a certain place to being able to work from anywhere and then ultimately try and create leverage and try and create things that you can sell again without having to do the work again so really that's the first step and obviously the easiest way for doing that is to sell things like ebooks uh, digital courses downloads PDFs um, that sort of thing things that can be replicated and, and copied you know unlimited amount of times but that don't require you to do any more work in order to sell them and copy them because then really it's residual isn't it you don't have to work again you don't have to say if you write an ebook and you sell it the first time if you sell it again you don't have to write the ebook again you just send them the ebook again you know or the software or, or whatever systems you have set up or email them the ebook download you don't even have to be there in fact you don't even have to be awake <laughs> uh, so that's really one of the great things about you know passive income and especially selling digital downloads is that you don't have to be in a certain place you don't really even have to be involved once you've written the ebook and set up a system that will that will promote and sell it for you and then deliver it once they pay your customers that is so look i know this is all confusing this might be a bit overwhelming even but if you're trying to become a digital nomad you need to understand that well logically when you think about it if you're going to be traveling around the world you need money to come to you uh, wherever you're going so it needs to be location independent and ultimately passive because that way you don't have to be spending all your time working i mean you don't want to travel halfway around the world to some hot country in asia for example and then have to spend 10 hours a day working because you know if the weather's really hot and nice you don't want to be stuck in your room you know sweating and typing on your laptop all the time because it's harder if you know it's harder to do that than it is to just do it where you came from if you come from a, a fairly average temperature or average climate country so don't make it hard on yourself you know you want to enjoy the sun and the beach whatever i mean that's what the the dream of of digital nomads really is to be able to enjoy things in the present uh, as opposed to just saving up for a retirement in the future which might never come that being said obviously <laughs> it's not a free ride you are going to have to do some work and you know although it is passive income once you've set it up you still need to do the work in the first place to create the thing you know say if it's an ebook you'll need to do the work to create that ebook in order to sell it it's not just going to appear out of nowhere um, so that's that's really the key it's just find something that can be sold again and again ideally a digital product and then set up a system which sells it for you this can be done either through kindle or you can use sales software like click funnels you can use email marketing software that will automatically email people and build a relationship with them for you uh, and sell your product there oh, by the way i'll put some links in the description to uh, click funnels which is a great way of sort of selling digital products for you creates a system that means you don't need to be there for the sale 
it can automatically happen. Um, and then Aweber, which is an email marketing software, which lets you sort of collect people's email addresses on, say, a website, and then automatically send them emails um, to promote products. So there'll be useful links for you there as well. Um, so one last thing I wanted to mention is that's just my experience and my way of doing it. Okay. You can very easily, and a lot of people do this, you can become a digital nomad with active income and by having a job, you know, you can work remotely for a company, for your company, hopefully, or, you know, another one. There are lots out there that might provide uh, remote working contracts or you can freelance. And a lot of people spend their time freelancing on sites like Upwork, uh, especially if, you know, if you're a writer, designer, uh, admin, sales, whatever the case may be, you can actually do freelance work on Upwork from anywhere and travel the world like that. You don't need a huge amount of money to become a digital nomad. Uh, it's a common misconception. You can travel the world quite cheaply. So depends on what you want to do. If you want to set up systems and have more time to you know, enjoy where you're going to, I would suggest setting up passive income. Um, if you don't really mind and you're happy to you enjoy your work, for example, which hopefully you do, um, then and you don't mind freelancing, then look at sites like Upwork, set up a profile, get some clients. Um, it's really almost as easy as that. Obviously, you need to do the work and be good at your service, but really, there's no barriers to this. You know, you could work from anywhere, pretty much doing anything. <laughs> so, don't limit yourself. You know, go and go and do what you love doing. And if you need some, if you need any tips on passive income, I've got a link in the description to a blog post that I wrote, containing I think I think it was over thirty in the end, uh, thirty passive income sources or ideas. Um, what I'd really advise is if, if you're a good freelancer, right? If you're good at your service, do both. You know, do freelance, have your clients so that there's regular income coming in, and then set up passive income as well. If you have some money to save on the side, if you've got extra money, disposable income. Invest it into things, you know, get some sort of residual income coming into your um, your account, your portfolio, whatever you want to call it. And then that way it's more secure. If you lose all your clients, you're fine because you have at least some passive income on the side. You ideally have some savings, that sort of thing. So hopefully this has been sort of useful. I mean, I know it's my first video on becoming a digital nomad. Uh, and it's also the first sort of real video I've made for this channel in a while. So if you are new here, please subscribe to Transcend Your Limits. It's my personal development and travel blog, um, which again, there should be a link in the description. And that's really it. I'll see you next time.